Hello everyone, Sanjay Poonan here. A year ago, I recorded a video that talked about the story of Cohisti. I've now been at the company a little over a year, and I thought to update you on the messaging and where we're taking this exciting company as we lead the next era of AI-powered data security and management. Cohisti is a fantastic company. We've got a great executive team and members of our team from a variety of companies like Google and SAP and VMware and others. We've got well over 4,000 customers, including well over 40% of the Fortune 100, one of the highest NPS scores in the industry, incredible partners, and some of them are also investors in the companies, like AWS and Microsoft and Google in the public cloud, Cisco, IBM, HPE, but in the security area, Palo Alto, CrowdStrike, Zscaler, Splunk, incredible investors, top tier investors, and have been re recognized by analysts repeatedly as a leader in the space. Our mission is very simple. We help secure and manage the world's data, often from cyber criminals, and help then organizations unlock limitless value from that data to providing them insights. It's a profound opportunity today, given the threat vector that we see, but also the opportunity to focus on that data, which is the, the gold of organizations today. Our vectors of differentiation, I like to think of these as sort of the triple axle of what we focus on. Number one is to be the best multi-cloud data management, data protection platform. Number two, to drive security as a zero trust architecture in everything we do, both built in the platform and standalone, and also use artificial intelligence and machine learning in some incredibly innovative ways. All of these three provide enormous differentiation relative to the other alternatives in the market. I'm going to explain that. We've been very fortunate to have that customer base that's driving us. That's really our obsession, product innovation and customer obsession. We have customers in a variety of verticals, some of the best in financial services and the largest probably segment there, and in retail, manufacturing, healthcare, federal, state, local, with a fairly international base of customers. Our partner ecosystem are not just the cloud players and the security players and the hardware vendors, but also the system integrators, the VARs, the channels, have all been enormously helpful to our success and we're grateful for their help along this journey. Let's go back to where the company all started 10 years ago, because we were the first to pioneer some incredible innovations we started. You could think of data, I described it as the goal today for many companies, as sitting in unstructured and structured formats. Structured data is databases, data warehouses, and production systems. It might be an Oracle or a Snowflake. Unstructured data are data that sits in file servers, maybe on-premise or on OneDrive, um, or in emails. Once that data gets fairly big in that primary data or production data, it starts to get backed up and archived, and snapshot and vaulted into the secondary data scheme, the bottom of that iceberg, so to speak. And that could be you know, protection and backups of virtual machines, databases, files, emails. We estimate the primary data world's at least 100 exabytes, and the secondary data world is at least 1,000 exabytes. And no one has really focused on a simple way to manage, secure, and provide insights into that secondary data until Cohesity came along 10 years ago to crack that problem. And we've been steadily making progress at those three key aspects, manage, secure, provide insights into secondary data. So let's cover them one at a time. Number one, why is data management important for that secondary data? It's a very complex, large world. It looks like it's underneath that bottom of the iceberg. And today, it's, it, it has been very expensive in the past to manage that because of architectures that were built before the cloud. So you had separate software and separate hardware to back up and store the data, dedupe done in different places, lots of labor, and bef before Cohesity, now, after Cohesity, a lot of that labor comes down because it's all automation and AI driven, running on commodity hardware with software that is efficiently built for the cloud, bringing compute close to storage. We call that a hyper-converged architecture, which we were the first to invent. We can then drive that cost of ownership to be at least 50% lower. But cost of ownership isn't the only variable. Just as important is return on investment, the speed of recovery. We were the first to be able to do groundbreaking things in cyber recovery with a capability called Instant Mass Restore. And then we could do it at various levels of granularity, whether it's all of the recovery or granular pieces of the recovery. 
that speed of recovery, even today, seven, eight, 10 years later, is faster, 10x faster than almost every competitor today. So that speed, scale, and simplicity is our key aspects of how we manage that data. We do it in a beautiful user experience, it's consumer-like, that minimizes a lot of the complexity of tasks because it's got guided workflow and automation, uh, or web-like interface where you can manage that workload proliferation of yours that might be in the private cloud, running on VMware, or in a data center, uh, or in a managed service provider, or in the public cloud. We work closely with AWS and Azure and Google and Oracle, and you can run that in the customer's tenant of the public cloud, or as a service in our tenant as we help people with data protection as a service for a SaaS solution. There's also SaaS applications that we believe are quickly going to come on place. So Office 365, we've become one of the leading players at scale to back up many of those inboxes and SharePoint and Teams and OneDrive and so on and so forth, and Salesforce and Microsoft Dynamics and ServiceNow through our partners. We believe this world of workloads today and tomorrow is the key differentiation. When you think about the private cloud, it's typically powered in VMware. When you think of the public cloud, AWS, Microsoft, Google, or Oracle, the key workloads we today do better than anybody else is virtual machines, databases, and NAS files. But each of them have sibling workloads, maybe EC2, S3 RDS, or Azure VMs, Azure SQL, Blobs, Azure Active Directory, Microsoft 365, and so on. This matrix is what we focus on today and going to the future, and we believe we can do this at scale better than anybody else. That's been the focus of this company for data management. But security is just as important. Why? Because the bad guys a few years ago decided they're not just going to get the attack vector to the top of that iceberg, primary data, but you had a lot of defenses there. You had maybe network perimeter defenses like Palo Alto on the firewalls, or endpoint security tools like CrowdStrike, or maybe vulnerability management tools um, like Tenable, or maybe secure access service edge capabilities like Zscaler, a lot of defenses around that primary data. They figured they'd go after the secondary data because that's often your only first, second, or third copy backup. It's often all of your history. And once you do that, you're going to pay the ransom. And we decided to attack that several years ago. And I've accelerated even further uh, our security investment. Why? Because it's super important. In today's day and age, there's 20 plus ransomware attacks every second on average. It takes people 270 plus days to recover from that. And a lot of the data today is in the public cloud. So you have to go beyond these layers of defense because what the bad guys want to go is go past those layers right into the inner sanctum where your data assets are and your crown jewels. So you need both a proactive approach a la this NIST framework where you can identify, detect, and protect, but you also need a respond and recovery framework which is reactive because you have to assume a breach uh, in many cases because it's not a matter of if but when. And then it's not a question of did you protect yourself before um, with all the detection capabilities, but how fast can you recover? And the speed of cyber recovery to build a resilient enterprise is what we do better than anybody else. So we built out four kind of key capabilities in security. And in many of these areas, we've been award-winning and the best capabilities in the market. Number one is cyber vaulting. Fort Knox, our capability inside data security, is won the gold medal at VMware Explorer a few years ago. And a lot like fighting the bad guys is fighting disease. If you think about what we did during the pandemic, we isolated and we quarantined. That's like a cyber vault. The second thing we did was got really good at, at testing and COVID testing. That's scanning uh, and ransomware hunting. That's a lot of what we do uh, with scale out capabilities for threat hunting and ransomware hunting. Uh, we've done classification. Think of that as a very high end uh, blood test or so on and so forth. It tells you where you've got classified data in your data, and then you can take action to be able to back that up faster or have higher policies on that. We have one of the best classification engines that reveals hundreds of classifiers and you can do with it as you please to en enhance your security posture. And we've also built an incredible integration with all the best security operations centered capabilities of companies like Palo Alto and CrowdStrike and Microsoft and Zscaler. We were the first to create this data security alliance. It's the largest data security alliance today, where think of it kind of like that fighting disease. The CDC got vectors from the World Health Organization of virus strands. Similarly, Microsoft or Palo Alto or CrowdStrike may see trillions of signals. They send us those signals that allow us to then look for sleeper cell malware 
inside the data that we manage. We manage the data at rest. They may often see the data in motion. Together, we're working to keep your data safe. Immense. Data security posture management is a newer space where much of this is focused on the public cloud and their posture. And we pick the best six plus vendors there. They're integrating with us and we provide again, the customers the best capability to fight the ways in which data security might be at risk in a public cloud. And then finally, uh, but probably one of the most important is to have the best doctors to advise you. Uh, God forbid if anything happens to your company, you're probably gonna call one of the best cyber fighters in the world. His name is Kevin Mandiant. Um, he's the CEO of Mandiant as part of Google Cloud. He is often in front of the world talking about fighting this. He's been doing it for decades. He's on our board. He looked at all the companies in this space and felt cohesively at the best tech. And he's surrounded here with a couple of other key people that we've joined in a security advisory council, some of the best security minds that are advising us and in turn can advise you in terms of how you keep your security posture safe. Uh, we are now being recognized by the analysts as the leader in data security, leapfrogging everybody else given the amount of uh, capability that we built in the product and our approach to doing this with an ecosystem and the great minds like our Security Advisory Council. But just because you've managed and secured that bottom of the iceberg, it doesn't mean you're getting value out of it. You know, security is often like a brake on a car. If you rode your car with just a brake, you wouldn't be going very far. You want the accelerator too. And that's the beauty of AI and ML and analytics, being able to get insights on your data uh, so that you can actually get value out of that data and really make it the gold, including all the historical data you have. Now, artificial and machine learning has been something that's not new to Cohesity. We've been doing this from the get-go. Remember, many of our engineers and founders are ex-Google folks. So when you talk about anomaly detection or capacity protection, capacity planning, um, data entropy, knowing when data has changed, threat intelligence, data classification, ransomware detection. These are all AI and ML capabilities that we've built in the platform. We've put an umbrella term for all those AI capabilities, called it cohesively Turing. Turing was the computer scientist that all of us admire some, for some incredible work that actually was some of the foundational elements of computer science many, many years ago. But we've extended that now to generative AI in a way that nobody has done. Imagine the scenario. You're the CISO of a bank, and you're facing a data breach that looks somewhat similar to what happened 10 years ago, but you don't know what the previous CISO 10 years ago did. And they may have written some documents about it, maybe a bunch, a bunch of emails. They're all there in your backup, hopefully powered and cohesively. Imagine if you could search, just like ChatGPT, into a search window that says, please summarize everything the previous CISO wrote about the data breach we faced in 2013 and come back with a one-page document. Now, all that data is there. It's indexed and ready to go because it was running on Cohesity. We built much of that infrastructure. We've been working with Microsoft and Google, and now also AWS, at ways by which generative AI could search that data, come back with the results. It's a technique called retrieval augmented generation. We were the first to do this in our space, and we patented that ideas. We believe we will be the only company patent pending to have a RAG-based approach to data protection. So the platform itself brings together five different pillars for data protection, data security, data mobility, data access, and data insights. We think collectively, many of our customers are spending in the tens of billions in fragmented tools. We bring this together for the first time into one platform, it's called the Cohesity Data Cloud, so that you can reduce your spend, get all of it in one beautiful platform with a wealth of functionality that's highly differentiated. Remember, it's simple, scalable, secure, AI and ML ready, extensible, so that many of these partners can build on top of that, and comprehensive capabilities for backup and cyber vaulting, insights from data like global search and file and objects capability and site continuity, all of this capability in a rich platform that's AI powered for data security and management. The analysts now are starting to see us as a leader. We believe over the course uh, of the next few years, you'll see us go to the top right of every quadrant. We've been one of the fastest moving in direction both on strategy and execution uh, because of both the capabilities of our product and our vision. We're the fastest growing in revenue relative to everybody else. We're not a startup anymore, we're mid-sized. This is IDC's data um, that shows us ahead of everybody else. We respect all our competitors, but our job is to show our customers why we're the best product capabilities with the highest customer obsession. So in conclusion, here's what I would leave with you. Five key points. Number one, Cohesity is your trusted partner to protect your data from the cyber criminals. Number two, beyond protecting your data, 
we can actually help you get insights into your data in a very unique fashion now, especially using artificial intelligence. Number three, the largest customers and biggest brands depend on Cohesity, so you're not alone. Number four, we have the best team, which are constantly growing, the best product, and the best ecosystem to help you. And finally, we can help you lower your total cost of ownership, accelerate your return on investment. Let's get started right now. Thank you very much.